Welcome to Simply Vidalia, episode number 16. I'm Ross Kelly, your host, CEO and Realtor with Lovins Realty, and this is Mike Sheehy, the director and co-owner of the Oconee Sleep Center. Mike, welcome to the show. Glad to be here, Ross. Thank you so much for allowing us to come into the Sleep Center today and uh, to tell the audience a little bit about what you guys do. Before we get started on the business, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Uh, been in sleep 20 plus years. Um, home is state of Alabama. Okay. Moved here in 2002, um, been very fortunate, blessed, uh, uh, have a, a lovely wife and two grown kids and grandkids and uh, enjoy my horses and what else can I say except life is, life good. is good. Well, good. Yeah. Well, good. And uh, obviously, at some point in time, you got involved into this industry. Won't you tell us uh, the, the foundation for that? I did. It's, it's kind of a strange story, and I'll hit it real short. Um, I was born and raised on a farm. Okay. My dad was a farmer. We had construction. Uh, things changed in the 90s in the farming industry, and uh, uh, I got out of the farming uh, I really had no clue what I was going to do, so I went to uh, Southeast Medical Center in Dothan and started in security. Okay. And from security, I transferred into behavioral medicine, so I worked the site behavioral medicine unit for a couple of years. I got to know a neurologist named Dr. Alan Prince, and I call him today as pretty much my mentor. He uh, got me into sleep medicine. He got me trained in sleep medicine. And uh, I was fortunate enough to work at Southeast and then went across town to Flowers Hospital and worked there and worked in Opelika, Alabama and worked in Contract Sleep and Contract Sleep brought me to Vidalia, Georgia. Okay, and that's where the O'Connor Sleep that's Center the, was born. The O'Connor Sleep Center was born in 2008 with myself and a group of physicians. Um, in 2014, the Oconee Sleep Center and Middle Georgia Sleep and Wellness came together as one company. Uh, I have a co-partner, so he and I own everything now, pretty okay. much. Uh, we, uh, we have hospital contracts where we do sleep studies in hospitals. We have independent sleep labs. We have one here in Vidalia. We have one down at St. Mary's, Kingsland. Uh, and coming real soon, we'll be in Savannah, Georgia. Good, good an expansion. That's a great problem yeah. to have. Yes, great. <laughs> I mean, now, um, how do people get to here to the sleep center? Is it referred by a physician, or it is? It's referred by their their practicing medical physician. Um, it can come from a sleep doctor that's boarded in sleep where they get referred to him for other reasons and then they end back in here. But 90% of your referrals come from your physicians in the towns. And they send their patients here for sleep studies. And what a sleep study is, it's basically uh, you're wanting to see if the patient has a sleep disorder. It can be sleep apnea. It can be restless leg syndrome. It can be narcolepsy. Uh, it can be uh, REM behavior disorder. We see a lot of vets now with REM behavior disorder uh, with all the stuff they went through. You can relate to that. Oh, yeah. So we see a lot of VA patients now, a lot of VA uh, REM behavior disorder patients. So, but all the referrals come from their physicians and we do the pre certs on that side, we do the scheduling, and then we bring the patient in and we study them uh, to see if they have a sleep disorder. Okay. So uh, let's just say uh, I've been referred by the VA to come to Oconee Sleep Center for a sleep study. Mm -hmm. What can I expect, uh, expect to happen the minute I walk through that door? When you walk through that door, there'll be a young lady that night to meet you. She will introduce herself to you. Uh, she will bring you back to your room. She will explain to you the paperwork. She'll explain to you as she's hooking up what the wires do. Uh, the wires on the head picks up the EEG brainwave activity. She will explain to you the 
we're looking at your heart rate, your EKGs, we're looking at your legs, we're picking up leg movements, we're picking up your breathing from your chest, your abdomen, and your nose. Uh, those things she's going to explain to you, this is what we're looking for. And then she sits behind a screen out there uh, during the night and she's monitoring your sleep and documenting what she sees. Okay. So, so it's, it, it, I, I tell people every day, you may not have sleep disorder, but we've seen people have severe heart disease. Really? That it showed on their sleep study. Wow, so it so, might be a blessing they come in and get right, a, a sleep right. study and found something that's else. That's right. We see we see numerous things that could be going on besides why they come in here. Yeah. Now this is actually a, a sleep study room, correct? It is. This is one of the rooms we used. Our rooms are uh, queen size beds. Uh, patients have a TV in their room. Uh, they have their bathroom. Uh, if they want to bring a guest with them, someone that needs to stay with them, we have a lazy boy recliner for them to sleep in. Uh, this is actually one of the sleep rooms. Okay. All right, good. Now, you guys don't just uh, operate in this area. You cover other areas, oh, yeah. correct? Uh, we, have, um, we have a hospital contract in Northside and Coliseum in Macon. Okay. We're at Dodge County Hospital in Eastman. We're at Taylor Regional Hospital in, in Hawkinsville. We're at Louisville Hospital in Louisville, Georgia. We're in Southeast Medical Center Hospital, or no, the med yeah. We're in Wiregrass Medical Center Hospital in the state of Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, these are all hospital contracts where the hospitals actually, uh, it, it's, it's a revenue for the hospital. They build the studies, the, they bill everything, they pay us a fee for service for running their studies. Gotcha. So for a rural hospital, it's good extra money coming in. And it keeps their patients from having to leave their community. That's right. So it's a convenience thing yes. as well. Yes. And, and the older people, you know, they want to stay close to home. So if you, you provide a sleep center in their hometown in a hospital base, they feel comfortable going there. Mm -hmm. That's their hospital. Yeah. And you and I being friends uh, just over all the years, you know, you've, I've heard you make mention reading studies. What is when you read a study? What are you looking well, for? Well, basically, you have after the studies run, it goes through a score. Okay. Um, it can be me scoring it. It can be one of my scoring technicians. But what we do is we score the study. We document the events. It documents everything: the sleep, how much how much time we slept. Uh, uh, if they have restless legs, and all that stuff is compiled into a report for the reading physician to sit down and say, these things I see, okay. and he makes his recommendations. So the, you run the study, you have what we call the raw data, mm -hmm. then it's scored by a scoring technician, and then it's read by the reading physician. Wow, pretty complex. Yeah, and everything, our goal is from the time you walk through that door to... Everything is done within 48 hours. So it's, it's run, it's scored, it's in our reading physician's hands back to the doctor that referred them. Okay. Because we want to be able to say we turn around our reports to our physicians in 48 hours. And that's quick. You know, a lot of people who are suffering some of these symptoms, you know, they want to know what's going on. Oh, yeah. That's pretty important. Yeah, it's, it's, huge to the, it's huge to the patient and it's huge to the physician because what we try to do is cater to our physicians. Our physicians have been loyal to us. They've sent us patients for years. Um, and one of the things that they send to us is reasons behind it is we get it done for them. Good. And we turn it around and their patients don't have to sit waiting to try to get in. Now there is times where insurance doesn't work with us like we want to. So they slow the process down. No. <laughs> but, but you know, that's the insurance world. Yeah. That's the, what it is. But, but most of the time when a patient walks through the door for that study, within 48 hours, it's gonna be everything's completed back in their doctor's hands. Wow, that's fast. Yeah. That's good customer service. I mean, used to, we could say 24 hours. We can't say that anymore because of insurance. Yeah. But we can say 48, and we can stick to 48. Good. Well, that's a good service to be able to provide. Now, let's just say I'm one of the viewing audience watching this video right now, and uh, I'm not sure if I need this type of service. What are some of the signs of symptoms I might be displaying or having 
to encourage me to go see my physician to possibly right. get referred for a sleep study? What I tell, what I tell most people uh, in this day and age, you know, do you have a bed partner? Mm -hmm. uh, we we get more referrals from wives than we do men. Because the wives say my husband snores at night, he tosses and turns at night, he keeps me awake during the night, he's kicking during the night, he needs a sleep study. And the man says, well, I don't have a problem. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, I don't have a problem. But yeah. uh, And it can be the other way. The man can witness the wife that stops breathing. It can be um, a parrot wi witnessing a child sleeping at night or sleeping on the couch or or anything um, that would trigger their mind. But what I tell patients, the first thing with sleep disorder is if it's sleep apnea, you're gonna have some snoring sounds, you're gonna be loud sometimes, you're gonna be quiet sometimes, and you're gonna see that patient jerk. And that's their body arousing them to breathe. Yeah, wow. And and you know, if, you, if your body don't kick in and arouse you to breathe, then that's what causes heart attacks, strokes and cardiac arrest wow so it is good like you said that people come in and get this study it's That's pretty right. important because you don't never know what you're going to uncover right. that might be long-term repercussions no and we know a man we i mean the statistics tell us that a man with a 17 inch neck mm -hmm. has a body mass greater than 30 mm -hmm. nine times out of ten has sleep apnea a lady with a 15 inch neck Body mass greater than 29, nine times out of 10 has sleep back. Is that because they're overweight? That's right. Okay. And in this day and time, uh, uh, the McDonald's and the Hardee's and all these places that we go to eat, uh, uh, obesity is big. Yes. And it, and it causes. And then you, when you're obese, you're fatigued during the day, you're sleepy during the day. Uh, you may have times where you just nod off. Um, you know, uh, I, I'd use it as a joke, but you can look around church and tell the people that don't sleep good because mm -hmm. they're nodding off during church. Yeah. 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 You can go to a doctor's office and sit in a waiting room with a room full of people and you can tell the people that's got a sleep disorder hmm. just by them sitting there nodding off. Yeah. Signs and symptoms. Yeah, signs and symptoms. Fighting it, always fighting it. And you know, and, and, and in the trucking industry, it's got really huge. Yeah. Where, you know, the truck drivers have to go through these sleep studies now. They have to have uh, documentation if they're on CPAP, if they got sleep apnea. Which leads me to when I say CPAP is I'm excited about Middle Georgia Sleep. We're opening a new company. It'll be called Middle Georgia DME. Okay. Um, we're going to specialize in s what we do for business, sleep. CPAPs, BiPAPs, AutoPAPs, uh, patients' masks, the supplies. We're going to have a separate company where we will be able to provide to our physicians, to our patients, that they can, they can get everything. Wow, that's exciting. Uh, what that does for us, it... Uh, it's an, uh, another avenue. We have more and more physicians saying, why can't you handle our patients from day one to the end? Full service. Full service, like Walmart. Mm -hmm. Walk in the door, you can buy everything at Walmart. Mm -hmm. uh, I even heard now Walmart's probably going into the car business in some ways. So, <laughs> yeah. so you, you want that patient to say, okay, I want I want to use you. Now, Home medical companies are DMEs, they're suppliers. We're not going to ever say to a patient, you need to use us. Mm -hmm. That's the patient's choice. That's right. If they want to use us, we'll have a company that can do it for them. Uh, uh, Heather Proctor is uh, going to head that up for me. Good. She's going to be the, 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 the middle Georgia DME company. Uh, so that'll be her, her reins and her baby. And uh, uh, so she'll be stepping out of the sleep side and doing doable medical. Well, I think that it'll be in really good hands. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right Heather's, Heather's been with me. She's been with me over five years. Uh, she can do anything 
that you asked her to do. And this is a challenge to her and an exciting challenge. Good. So. Well, it makes sense. I mean, sleep studies in this industry, this market is what you know. That's right. And, so. and you know, we got particular physicians, like I say, that want us to handle their patients all the way. And, and we want to be able to provide that service. But we're also going to be able to launch in, in our home medical CPAP industry. We're going to have it for those patients that we have Obamacare out there now. Mm -hmm. Their deductibles are higher and higher and higher every day. Uh, they can't afford to buy a CPAP machine that's on the high end. Yeah. But they need it. So we're going to have a ent uh, entity in our DME where we handle nothing but patients with what we call no insurance. So if you want to walk in that door and you say, I do have this insurance, but I don't want to use my insurance. What's this mask going to cost me? Mm -hmm. They just buy it. There you go. If they want to buy an additional CPAP machine or if they, their machine is broken and they know that their deductible is $5,000, the machine is not near that much. Yeah. They can come in, they can buy the machine from us, we'll be able to make payments with them and they'll be able to get their supplies they need uh, versus having to go through all the red tape of trying to get their stuff. Wow, that's important. So to us, that's, that's huge because we see more and more patients out there that's been on CPAP or been on this or been on that and their stuff is wore out. They can't get replacements. Yeah. We want to be able to provide that to them. Well, that's uh, serving people. Yeah. That's what you're doing. That's They're, right. Everybody We're, don't have the financial capability right. to come right in. And, that's right. Well, that's good for you guys. So we want, to, we want to serve and we want to be able to offer this to the patient. Well, that's a great business model. So. Uh, I, I I think it'll be really huge. I think it I think it'll work great. Uh, we put a lot of time into it. We've been we've been going back and forth with this for over two years, and finally, my partner Rhett and I would say, "Okay, it's time. We got to do it." That's right. So, Let's go for it. So we're going to remodel a building, and uh, and it'll be a separate company. Well, good for you guys. That's really exciting. I'm excited yeah. and wish you all the so, success in the world. So we'll see. We're, we, we, we feel really good about it. Well, good. I feel good about it for you. Thank you, sir. Well, um, lastly, why don't you tell the viewing audience how they can contact you guys if they have any questions about anything we've spoke about today. If they have any questions, uh, they can always call our main line here at 912-388-4556. Uh, Arlene, Kristen, Heather myself any of us can answer the questions um, I, I do this for a reason I do it for my patients I do it for my doctor's offices I, I like to give my cell number they can personally call me if that's what they need it's 912-326-0643 Good. And uh, your physical address is? It's 506 Jackson Street, Bidelia, Georgia. And they can just swing by yeah. and... Everything, everything for all of our locations works out of this building. Okay. Good. Well, Mike, thank you again for having us in your business. Uh, again, success, uh, wishful successes with your new branch, and I hope you guys do well. Thank you, Ross. Thank appreciate you so it. much for having us. I thank appreciate you. it. Appreciate it. Well, there you have it, everybody. That's Mike Sheehy, co-owner and director. And I'm Ross Kelly, CEO and Realtor with Lovin's Realty. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.